It's Earth Day, folks, and we're celebrating. In fact, we'll be giving you a winery that you're going to want to cheers to this Earth Day. And how about a few ways to get out and about for Earth Day? We'll show you a few things that you can do to really enjoy Mother Nature. And of course, we got to give you some taste to treat your taste buds. How about a spot that grows their own produce and is embracing the farm to table trend? We're going to take you there and oh, so much more. You are watching Taste and See Tampa Bay. It's time to explore Tampa Bay. This is Taste and See Tampa Bay. Good morning and happy Earth Day. Welcome to Taste and See Tampa Bay. And today we are celebrating all things eco-friendly. That's right, Natalie. We're going to show you some sustainable businesses right here in Tampa Bay, as well as some fun things that you can do to get outside and enjoy the planet. So stick around for that. So let's kick things off with some wine, shall we? <laughs> Manatee County is home to the greenest winery in America. And from the corks to the bottles to the wax that goes on the bottles, everything at Bunker Hill Winery can be repurposed. We've made it to Paris, Florida to check out Bunker Hill Vineyard and Winery. Not only can you try some really unique off the wall flavors of unfiltered wine, but you can also learn about everything this winery is doing to stay green. You won't just see grape wines here. You're gonna see cherry tomato wines. You're gonna see dandelion flower petal wines, jalapeno wines, strawberry wines, cucumber wines, coffee, tea wines. We're the only winery in America that makes both of those. But you're gonna see a plethora of wines. And I think we're making currently about 40 different wines. When you get here, you would be able to select five wines. You're gonna get six, however. We pick one and then um, you just enjoy yourself is really what it is. And we'll answer any questions that you might have about anything we do here or about wines in general. When they finish their wine tasting, they can also walk over to the Jams Marmalade Preserves and say, I'd like to taste this one and we'll have a sample of that too. If you were to pick up any of our wine bottles, you would see right on the front label the word unfiltered. Uh, what it means though is that nothing has been taken out of your wines. Our taste flavor bouquet of, of our wines, because they're unfiltered, they come from the fruit or vegetable that they're made from. This also makes them palatable to the vegans and vegetarians. They can't drink the other wines in the marketplace because those are filtered through animal byproducts. We started out from day one, had decided that we would produce our wines in a green, sustainable way. And that's what we do here. We try to convey to the consumer not only a great time when they're here, but also to instill in them some knowledge that they can carry with them. We've been open to the public now 12 years, and in this entire 12 years, we've never, ever purchased a single wine bottle. Every one of those came from our customers. We clean and sanitize them, put them back into circulation. Inside every bottle is a natural cork. We take your cork back. We send them to a company that will actually convert those into cork floor tiles. Now on the top of every wine bottle, they're dipped in the hot sealing wax. We take that back too at the end of the day. So our consumers go home, they enjoy the wines, they bring the bottles, the wax, and the corks back. Everything comes back. Nothing has the opportunity to go to a landfill. The wax will remelt and add that to another wine bottle the next time we bottle. People should come here basically because they're going to have an experience like no other. I mean, this is not just a wine tasting, this is an experience. They really are wholesome wines and it's something that I think if you can try, you're going to be amazed at what you've been missing. Now, Bunker Hill Winery is located in Parrish, which is a little over an hour away from Tampa. Tastings are available Thursday through Monday for six bucks a person with a wine purchase. And don't forget, you can bring an empty wine bottles you have at home for Bunker Hill to sanitize and reuse. Now, it's so great, all of the green initiatives that they have, and it's perfect for Earth Day, but I have to talk about those flavors. Okay. I mean, dandelion wine, jalapeno wine, coffee wine, like these are some things that you can't get from anywhere 
anywhere else, Natalie. Wait, wait, wait a second here. Dandelion wine? Yes, it was delicious. Like a nice little bit of sweet on it. So it's amazing the things really? that they can make wine out of. Like you wouldn't have even thought twice about, honestly. Well, you know, if you put it together, you've got a winery that is thinking of how to like reuse everything, even down to the like the wax and the cork is like you were saying on the wine bottle. I mean, leave it to them to come up with some pretty crazy wine. Jalapeno. I'm on that one. I'd like to try that one. I'm exactly. not going to lie. I want to cook with that one because, you know, sometimes you cook uh, with wine. I think that would be a really good one to, like, make a dish with. I, I'm going to have to take your word on that because, we you know, I'm not cooking my wine. You know what I'll be doing? <laughs> no. Hey, Anna, thank you. This really has been perfect for Earth Day. I like getting to know this winery a little exactly. bit more. Exactly. Something a little bit different for people to check out. And if you're looking for a place where you can reduce, reuse, and refill your everyday items, you should stop by Wufka in Seminole Heights. This refillable and zero waste store offers everything you're looking for for, including soaps, lotions, laundry detergent, candles, and more. You can bring your own container or purchase one in the store. They have glass, aluminum, and compostable options. Then you'll pay by the weight of your eco-friendly product that you're shopping for. The main goal is to reduce single-use plastic waste. Lufka also owns two other locations, one in South Tampa and the other in Wesley Chapel, so you can stop by any of those stores for your household product needs. Look at that. My mouth is like open watching that. Uh, speaking of other ones that other mouth is open, look at the dogs there. Stick around because <laughs> the fun has just begun. In fact, weekend events are next and coming into the studio. I feel like we got to have another dog, right? We'll yeah. bring one back. <laughs> <laughs> And how about celebrating some artwork? Not artwork in a museum, but artwork that's displayed on the walls of downtown St. Pete. This is a must-see thing. Details on that as well. And you know what, though? Before we do step away for a moment, if you are looking to do some good this Earth Day, you can join Lufka, who Tayana was just introducing us to, and Callie from the Chichio Restaurant Group for a beach cleanup. Just head out to Gandy Beach this Saturday morning from 9 until about 10.30 a.m. And last year, Lufka said they collected more than four hundred pounds of trash folks which goes to show that what you do on events like this really can make a difference and in fact we've got the contact information on the screen if you do have any questions but again please RSVP there and please stay right there because we've got more show on the other side of the break